This is the amount they want to hit me with leaving service. $3,561. I want to holler. I want to scream. I want to yell, but it won't do any good. Today is gear turn in day for me. First hack when you're in the military is make friends with supply admin in the armory, right? You turn gear in, it can be complicated. You better have a buddy in there. If they don't like you, you ain't getting it right. But this is unique. Told to leave gear in Afghanistan. No problemo. Plane got too much weight. We'll take care of you, bro. Uh-huh. Turn in all the gear that I've collected over the last four years of being active duty with the Army, with the 82nd Airborne Division. Two years ago, my unit deployed to Afghanistan for the Afghanistan withdrawal. We spent a few weeks over there. It was hectic. It was chaotic. It was disgusting. And it made me very disappointed in our government. Today... I'm reminded of how disappointed I am in our government. Now, this is nothing new, but when it happens to you, it's new, right? How many times you see some young E3 losing their nods in a firefight? Next thing you know, they're standing tall for the band. What happened to your nods? But yet, the brass can leave gear, lose gear. They can make it go away. So they hold the young enlisted to a higher standard than we hold our brass, our Congress, our government. Does that make any sense? So the UCMJ takes you outside of your normal constitutional rights. People just keep going along. You could be a Congress and commit some nefarious act and nothing happens. These are the people that basically dictate to the military and they have lesser rules. Now that's nothing new, of course, but it's amazing. And that affects recruiting today because kids see this, young men see this. Go to turn in my gear. They want to charge me 500 to a thousand dollars for gear that I was ordered to leave in Afghanistan two years ago because as the last two birds were sitting on the tarmac ready to leave there wasn't any room for extra gear or extra weight therefore we were told to leave it some lower enlisted dudes including myself were like no this stuff is expensive I'm not leaving yeah you know you're gonna get burned I don't care what they say somebody on the plane's like hey just leave it bro no big deal we'll take care of you we got you covered that platoon sergeant may say, we got you covered, but the supply folks don't give a shit about that. There's no communication. No one in charge cares about this guy. Now, this is being highlighted more and more, and so people are like, oh, I don't want to join. I've heard lots of guys on this channel, young guys, say, I'm not joining Afghan Game of Thrones. It shows me. I don't want to be involved. Now, the big green machine, the big green weenie, has always been a thing. Now you see it. It's highlighted every day. Leaving this. I'm going to get charged for this when it comes time to leave. Mm -hmm. Don't worry. We're going to catch you we on the you, back end. We know, we'll flipple it. Now. It's time to get out of the army and they just want to, they want to charge you for, for that. Meanwhile, we can continue to give millions of dollars to the Taliban. Of course, man. They used you. They brought you in. They used you. Now, hear me out. Nothing's new here. This young man knew when he joined up or had the information, they would jam you. But you don't think it's gonna happen to you, right? You hear about it, you know it. You know the big green weenie's gonna get you. But when it happens to you, it's very real. Like, hey, by the way, we're docking your last check that it leave you built up, accumulated, and you're gonna owe us money. It's the federal government, they're getting their money. You get your next job, they're gonna levy your pay. So now, what do you do? Well, you just take the big green weenie and smile and <laughs> be glad you're out, I guess. We can give billions of dollars to Ukraine. We can give billions of dollars to student debt relief. We can give a bunch of stupid stimulus checks. We can cut those to the American people. But we can't cover 500 to to $1,000 for a dude that left gear in Afghanistan. It's more than that. Wait till you see the end. Stand by. He gets a bill. Almost four grand. Now think about this. How many SF bros you see on YouTube... And they've got all sorts of gear from the military. Well, that's a thing. We've seen that. How much gear did you walk out with when you left the military? I'm not talking high-end shit. I'm talking random things. Put that in the comments. It happens. But when you're young and the conventional army in this case, they're just like, hey, pay up, scumbag. You owe us. We got what we want out of you. You're getting out? Guess what? Here it comes. Enjoy. For a dude that left gear in a place that you put me to begin with. The government is so stinking backwards right now, man.
This administration's last priority is the American people. And, and inside of the American people, their last priority is their soldiers, their Marines, their airmen, their, their, their Navy. Well, of course it is. I mean, we know that. I mean, think of the VA system. Now, it hasn't changed. It's always sucked. Trump put in community care. That was outstanding. Thank you for your service. Now go wait in line after we injured you. Real injury. So that's always been a thing. But Gen Z is seeing it more. It's right in their face. You got videos of it. They're saying, well, I don't want to enlist to join in this. Changing the recruiting. You've seen those Army ads. Changed them all up. There's no M anymore. Emma's two moms. Gone. I think that was a bad idea. I don't know if the milk is spilt. The horse has left the barn. If they can fix this problem, this optics problem, when you're dunking on the people who make the least amount of money, yet when you see the administration, the brass leave trillion dollars worth of equipment, who knows, untold amount. Then we release the biggest arms dealer for an WNBA player, and then you see this equipment all over the globe. Odd, huh? Very odd. So messed up, man. I thought today was going to be bittersweet getting out. Bitter. But I'm just so happy to separate. I'm very, very mm -hmm. excited to stop serving my government and just getting started serving my country. You try serving your country, whatever that means. You'd be a watch list. You saw Mike Lover's video of veterans, preppers, homesteaders, or the threat, right? It was a leaked F memo. So there's some issues here that are bigger than just, you know, serve your country, not your government. It's tough, right? I don't know what you do without ending up like the meme guy in prison for 10 years. Saw that on Twitter? Sad. Today is November 20th. This is the amount they want to hit me with leaving service. $3,561. That's probably two months pay for a specialist after tax, right? He's a specialist, four years. I know a lot of guys are going to mention that. So he lost his gear, and you know you're responsible for it, but if he was told to leave it now, there's no really context to the story, but we know our own government left at least hundreds of billions of dollars there. I was even saw reports it was trillion dollars a year. A lot of money. That's all I know. I can't do math. And it was no problemo. Like, we can't bring it with us. Yet this guy's going to get burned. He will pay this money. Then we'll get every dime. Uh, nothing will happen. Some people in Congress will say, well, we'll see what we can do for you, buddy. I mean, come on. I'm not asking for help. But if you wanted to help, I would greatly appreciate it. Douche move, don't do it. Just say you want help. Don't say I'm not asking for help, but if you want to help, just say, yeah, I need help. It's $3,500. I don't make that in two months, net. So I need help. I'm broke. Say that. I hate this social media e-bagging. Make sure to follow me at Locals. Let me e-bag for a second. Been demonetized here, of course. Total is hateful and harmful. So I need you to do that. And if you want to see these videos, thank you. I'm going to swallow my pride for the sake of my family and post my Venmo in the comments. Thank you so much. Now, is this a shocker to you? Well, the answer is probably no. But you see it. It's video proof. These videos go viral. All of a sudden, you're going, well, how can this be? There's a bunch of outrage in Congress. Nothing happens. UCMJ still, again, takes away your Bill of Rights as a citizen. It's archaic. You can get away with untold criminality if you're an elected politician. But if you're a military member, you're held to the standard like you're a priest, held to a standard of purity. <laughs> Don't watch out with the memes there. So uh, it's a never-ending hole that's going to hurt recruiting in the end, bottom line. Young men and women see this, they're like, mm, I'm not sure if I want to do this. Everybody's getting jammed up all the time. Thanks for watching.